Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna go through the head to heads, see who won and who lost. Good luck up here, won with the first time this this year so far. So good job, mate. Beating Jordan DeGropi. Let me see a rule. Absolutely, I don't know what happened with, I don't know, but Davey. I think a lot of these guys also had wits in the team. Wits was a late out as well, so a lot of people would have run into wits problems. I know my opponent had wits, and it definitely didn't help. Uh, didn't help me still, I still lost, but he was able to find a, uh, uh, the Gold Coast uh, Ruckman as a, you know, as cover. So last minute, some people were able to find cover right the last minute for the find out when they were out. So that was unbelievable for my opponent. He did extremely well. Let me see rule took out, I don't know Davey, but it's 1894, it's a bit surprising. But yeah, just a little bit of, just shows you how tough this season is. Full big one week, or even two weeks, and the next week really hit low. Out of the, well, this is a very close one. The Duke Fletcher, ooh, got went down to Bomber Kenny. So Bomber Kenny's bounced back. Good job, mate. There we go. I finally hit 2,000 this week. First time ever <laughs> this season. And then KFC for the boys took me down. Looks like everyone's eating. Our team Andrew is taken out. UFC, wow, 24, 2245 against 2219. Very nice. And then the bench warmers took out, oh no, didn't take out Cam. Wow, 2184 against 2186. It could actually be a little bit of an upset there. Sometimes they do have a score change as well. So for the time being, it says Cam Suvlaki is definitely the one that will be taking this down. But this is when I fell asleep against Bo with the very first time I played Supercoach. Fell asleep and woke up, and it was a draw. So anything could happen. Just a few couple of changes, and any, and you know, even the bench warmers could win this. Very close. Mud Dogs went down to the D pack. Well done, Mr. D pack. I mean, you you started to struggle there for a little bit, but now you're coming back. Very good. And Leslie went down to Murray FC. Murray FC has been consistent. He's the one to catch at the moment. So. Watch out for him to go huge every week at the moment. No pressure. Borza Fury, good job. Takes out Spagwell. So Borza Fury is getting on the board. Next for Dags taking out Wingardium and Libiosa. So that's the thing. Like Wingardium and Libiosa really scored well last week as well. And then struggled this week. So I think a lot, a lot of people are going to have hit and miss weeks. Um, you know, a couple of people might have a bit of consistency. But if you can avoid... Any of things. But anyway, let's look at the live ladder anyway. So the live ladder is Murray FC, 12 points. Wow, look at that. Going very well. Uh, Cancer Vaki is like, really close on his heels. Next for Degs on 12 as well. Actually, I didn't think he'd be on 12. So that's a really good one. 106.4. So only slightly behind percentage wise. Maybe he had a loft week when it didn't count. And then he's had a good three weeks, so uh, yeah, definitely a good job. Uh, and Bomber Kenny on eight points now, still just coming fourth now, so it was pretty good. At least he's bounced back. Was well, starting to struggle, but now he's just showed us that he's not. He's going to be a force to reckon with this season. There was Deepak as well. He's going to be up there. It looks like and the Fletchers hot on their tails as well. Fletchers look strong. Uh, Team Andrew looked bad last week, but then bounced back this week. KC for the boys took me down, unfortunately. And I don't know, Davies falling over the line, just missing out of the eight now. So shows you how tight this uh, this league might be. And then you got bench warmers, four points. UFC, Angelo, four points. And get a drop up here on four. Uh, he's finally bouncing out back, hopefully. WC, a real Michael, four points. Balls of Fury, four. Leslie at four. Also Mud Dogs four as well. And then we've got the Libiosa on seventeen. Oh we've got four points coming seventeenth. Jordan Negropi is coming eighteenth with four. And then Spags Bell and myself, we're uh, at the bottom of the, the ladder at the moment. Uh, looking at a few changes this week. Um uh, eventually I'm gonna burn out a trade, so but when you're falling this far behind you have to do drastic measures or you just gotta die by the you know, just gotta die by the sword. And try as hard as you can just to bounce back because 112,000 rating points. I mean, this this league is not doing too bad. It's 1425 league rating out of uh, 12,660. So this is still a strong league. 
would be a bit better, you know, but I'm actually the one holding the team back, unfortunately, this time. But we'll be looking to score a bit higher towards the, uh, cent, you know, before the mid-season comes in. And, yeah. So the average league average is 2,076. So if you scored over 2,076, well done. You are not holding the team, like, the league back at all. Um, if you scored underneath that, including myself, we need to get our act together and just try and and go up the league rankings as well and just their own rankings and just see you know i might not be able to get the top twenty thousand this year but let's see if we can get the top fifty thousand or something like that we're just going to try and get little by little wins each week and just repair and we'll just see how far we can go and just even just being competitive with the league at the end of the day if i can actually get in the ratings at all um i want to try and bounce back and possibly get on um, that top of Top of player in a game where I get massive losing streaks, but I get massive winning streaks. So, like in chess, for instance, I'll get like 20 games in a row where I'll win, and then 20 games where I'll lose. So, anything's on the cards, you know, towards the end of the season, I might go on a winning streak, I'm hoping, and then sneak in the eight and take a bone out. Who knows? That's that's a dream, but you know, you got to be starting thinking positive, or you're not going to have it repair. But we'll see what we can do. Um, there's a few targets where I mentioned in the other video, like Will Day maybe. Uh, even Redman looks pretty good. Probably a pod. And we'll have to go from there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.